Hi, I'm Jefferson. I'm the uh, co-founder of another magazine, Days of Confused, and this is Daphne Guinness, who's kindly joined me at the party. I'm here at Selfridges for the 10th anniversary birthday party of another magazine. I asked designers to design their fantasy birthday cakes, and then they kept sending in their drawings and their sketches, and they looked so good. And they started sending descriptions of how they should be made. And I thought, wow, wouldn't it be incredible to eat them? It was a fun idea that was meant for the magazine only, and then we got more and more people involved, and it snowballed. Selfridges were like, wow, we'd love to put this on in the shop. And for me, it was, it was brilliant having it in Selfridges because it means it's just for everybody can see them. It can be a party that everybody's invited to. Mixing fashion with food, and, and it's so sensory and so tactile and so emotional. I wanted to do something that made me feel like a kid again. Just have fun and just enjoy the magic of creation and bringing some of the world's greatest designers and the UK's greatest cake makers together is like a dream. A very fun dream that I'm now living. My name's Annie Nichols and I curated the show um, Eat the Designer for another magazine and Selfridges. It meant to bring the different artists together, the designers together with the cake makers and make a collaboration between the two. The highlights of, of meeting all the cake makers was just to see their skill, to see the dedication, to see just what they're able to do with their particular skill and to watch that in action has just been a pure joy. I'm Julie Walsh, I'm the head pastry chef at the Cordon Bleu Culinary School in London and uh, I've been asked to design the Philip Tracy cake for the uh, party tonight which I made out of full sugar. He sent me three hats over to actually get a feel of them, look at the textures, that really helped me. Once I had the perspective, it's much easier to put the piece together. The cake itself is made fully of, of sugar, so we have a pastillage base. On top of that we have a combination of pulled sugar and blown sugar. And blown sugar is very similar to glass making in that you cool the sugar down by, by manipulating it and then you blow air inside and cool it into your finished set.